just uh, curious as to kind of how you've been able to to stay ready for when your moment has been able to come. Obviously, you got to start the night and, and took advantage of that opportunity. Just how have you stayed ready so you wouldn't have to get ready when, when your opportunity came? No, yes, sir, absolutely. Um, I mean, the work that everybody on the team puts in and not, not just myself, it's just, it's incredible. And you can see with uh, Coy and Lawson with the same, same opportunity and he did his thing. It's like the depth chart goes, anybody in the lineup can do that. And when the opportunity comes, just go out there and just play free. And that's what, that's what I did tonight. Trey, what did you see on the pitch that led to your home run that you were able to judge it uh, well enough in order to hit out of the park? Uh, yeah, so he threw me first pitch slider. And then I heard Coach B and the uh, Doug guy say, Hunt Omaha. And that's a little Omaha sign we have like to the left of the uh, scoreboard. And I was like, I was thinking about that. And then I was going, going right center. And then it just went right into the barrel. And before that, back, Coach E said, this guy is, He's not good against righties, but he'll find the barrel. And I just went up there and just did my thing. All right, we'll go to Wes next and then Ryan. Yeah, Trey, I'm wondering sort of the way things went on Georgia at Saturday, you know, the the way that game ended, it, it kind of a gut punch. You feel like you, you'd outplayed them for about three hours there and then lost. What was sort of the team's mindset kind of right after that game and then Saturday night and Sunday? I mean, did y'all have to – was it angry, frustrated? You know, how did y'all react to that? I mean, at the moment in the time, there was a little frustration. I mean, that's something you can't control. But, um, I mean, we know we're a tough group. We know in the fall we put in more innings and more – uh, hours to anybody, and we just we go down there and it's like, okay, you give us your best punch, and we're gonna come back with one that's even better. And you know, that's just the mentality that we had the whole time. And it's just like, we're the guys, and whoever steps on that field for us is gonna get the job done. You mentioned the depth of this team, just how good was it to see a lot of other guys like yourself that maybe aren't in the lineup every single day have good and productive at bats today? Oh, it's incredible. And then, I mean, for the guys who didn't play today. I mean, I had Rucker by my side the whole time telling me this and that. Luke came up to me a couple of times and it's just like, oh, those are your guys. Like when you're on the field, and those guys are going to have your back no matter what. All right, we'll go back to Ben. Yeah, Trey, I'm just curious as to kind of what your focus was this off season and uh, what you really wanted to try and, and improve on and, and kind of some adjustments that you're still trying to make. So I guess the biggest thing that I went in my off season is just just eat more and get in the weight room. And then that turned out pretty good. I mean, I came back at a pretty good weight, 205, and I feel a lot more ready to go. And it's just, I just feel good, ready to go. And that was, a, that was the main thing going into the off season. All right, and then we'll go back to Wes. Yeah, Trey, you know, people say that there's that old saying that kind of iron sharpens iron, right? And when you got a bunch of guys out there that are competing, it, it makes you better every day. And, and I'm wondering kind of how you go about that, being a guy who, you know, obviously you want to play every day, um, but it hadn't worked out that way so far. H how do you kind of go about that competition and, and kind of supporting your guys, but still trying to kind of get yours? No, yeah, iron sharpens iron. And then like I, what I said earlier, the – the nine guys we have on that field are the guys that we want out there. And then those are the guys that are going to get the job done. And there's no doubt in that. And it's just whenever my opportunity comes, whenever everybody else's opportunity comes, just come out and play. Because you know the work you've put in and then just go out there and just do your thing. Any more questions for Trey? Okay. Uh, Nicholas, back to you. Yeah, Trey, obviously you've got a huge series coming up this week against LSU. Just what is one personal goal you have, if any, uh, for this series coming up against the Tigers? Uh, personal goal for me is just to stay, stay into the game and support my teammates. And then like you saw tonight, when I get my opportunity to just come there and shine, and the same for everybody else. But I know, I think we're, well, I know we're eager to get the SEC home series ready to go. And it's just, we're excited. We can't wait. We'll finish up with Gustavo. Trey, you guys won six out of the last seven games. You know, how do you see this game improving? You know, the sequence you guys have, you know, the, the, the way you guys play, how do you see that, you know, winning the six out of the last seven games? You know, we're just going out there and having fun. We're playing, playing our game and 
like I said, Georgia threw their best punch at us and we came back with one even stronger. And so that's when that's when we just let it let it happen. Cool. All right, thanks, Eric.